वेलकम फ्रेंड्स लेटेस्ट प्रूव द थ्योरम नंबर सिक्स पॉइंट वन ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स एंड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द थ्योरम इज इफ लाइन इज ड्रॉन पैल टू वन साइड ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल टू इंटरसेक्ट द अदर टू साइड इन डिस्टिंग पॉइंट द अदर टू साइड आर डिवाइडेड इन द सेम रेशियो वी हैव टू प्रूव द अदर टू साइड आर डिवाइडेड इन द सेम रेशियो Actually, this theorem is known as basic proportionality theorem, or we simply call it BPT. This theorem now is known as Thales theorem, and this is after the name of a famous Greek mathematician Thales, who proved this theorem, who invented this theorem. so let us see how to prove this theorem let us now use the information given in the statement of the theorem and the information is if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle suppose we have this triangle abc and a line is drawn parallel to one side of the triangle to intersect the other two sides in in distinct point and suppose we have a drawn a line parallel a line de parallel to bc so this line de is parallel to bc this is given to us in the statement of the theorem so we shall write here what is given to us we are given a triangle abc line de is parallel to bc this is given to us and what we have to prove we have to prove that the other two sides are divided in the same ratio then we have to prove that we shall write here to prove ad over db is equals to ae over ec we have to prove that these two ratios ad over db is equals to ae over ec we have to prove it so let us we have to do some construction in the figure from our side let us draw a perpendicular df on ae and another perpendicular eg on ad and join dc and be so this is the construction we have done in the figure so we shall write here df perpendicular to ae and eg perpendicular to ad and we joined be and dc so this is the construction we have done in the figure and now we shall start proving it and now we shall prove this theorem we shall start with the ratio of the area of the triangle areas of the triangle ade and the area of the triangle deb and we know that area of the triangle can be calculated by 1 over 2 times base and you can observe here that if ge is the perpendicular then ad will be the base so ad is base and eg is the perpendicular same as if we find the area of the triangle deb then we can calculate it by 1 over 2 times and you can observe that in the triangle deb ge is perpendicular and bd is the base so db is the base and eg is the perpendicular and we can cancel out eg with eg 1 over 2 with 1 over 2 then we remains with ad over db and we suppose this is our equation number 1 and the reason behind this area we have area of a triangle is equals to 1 over 2 times base times 
height so this could be the reason and now we shall find the ratio of the areas of the triangle ADE and the area of the triangle EBC and same as we can find the area of triangle ADE by 1 over 2 times base and now we shall consider the perpendicular DF which is on AE so here we have base is AE perpendicular is DE and here we have 1 over 2 times EC times DE and you can observe we can cancel out DE with DE 1 over 2 with 1 over 2 so here we remains with AE over EC this is our equation number 2 and the reason is area of the triangle is equals to 1 over 2 times base times height but area of the triangle D E B is equals to the area of triangle E B C and this is our equation number 3 and the reason behind it the area of the triangles on the same base and between same parallel lines is equal and here you can easily observe that the area of this triangle DBC will be equal to the area of the triangle ECB and it is because we have the same and it is because both the triangles DBC and ECB have the same base and between the same parallel lines DE and BC so from these three equations we observe that area of the triangle AD in equation number 1 and in equation number 2 is same and from equation number 3 the area of these two triangles is also equal this means that this ratio of the areas of the two triangle is same is equal to this ratio and whenever this these ratios are equal therefore this ratio and this ratio will also be equal so that's why we write from equation number one equation number two and equation number three we conclude that AD over DE is equal to AE over EC so this is what we wanted to prove so this is the proof of the theorem thank you